So good day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So our topic for this day is about inverse function. So first, ano nga ba ang inverse relation or inverse function? So ito po yung relation or function where you switch the domain and range values. So ang gagawin po natin dito is paano natin i-inverse o kukunin yung reverse ng ating mga functions. So first, ano nga ba yung inverse notation? So ang ating inverse notation is f raised to negative 1 of x or f inverse of x. So yan po yung ating inverse notation. So magbibigay ako ng mga examples para makita nyo kung paano kumuha ng inverse ng ating mga function. So we have three steps. So ang first step po natin is we are going to replace f of x with y. So nasabi ko dati na ang f of x is equivalent lang siya sa y. And second step, we are going to interchange x and y. And our third step is we are going to solve for y and replace it with f inverse of x. So yan po yung three na ating steps na gagamitin para makuha natin yung mga inverses ng ating function. So first, replace f of x with y. Second, interchange x and y. And third is solve for y and replace it with f inverse of x. So try natin sa ating example. So first question, f of x equals negative 1 of x plus 1. So first step, papalitan po natin yung f of x ng y. So ang f of x natin is magiging y. So yan yung unang gagawin natin. And then just copy negative 1 of x plus 1. So negative 1 half x plus 1. So, yan po yung ating first step. So, ang ating next step is we are going to interchange x and y. So, ang gagawin po natin is yung y natin is ipapalit natin sa x and then yung x natin ipapalit natin sa ating y. So, yan po yung ating second step. So, ang first step po natin yung f of x is ipapalit sa ating y. Ang second step naman is i-interchange natin yung ating x sa ating y. So, ang gagawin po natin, so magkakaroon po tayo ng x, so pinalitan natin yung y ng x, equals negative 1 half, and then yung ating x is magiging y, and then plus 1. So, yan po yung ating second step. So, ang ginawa lang po natin is pinagpalit lang po natin yung x sa ating y. So, next is we are going to solve for y. So, ang gagawin pa natin is yung dating ginagawa natin na kailangan ang matitira sa ating left or right side is yung y lang po. So, ang gagawin natin, we are going to solve for y. So, marami tayong way. So, pwedeng ilipat natin yung positive 1 sa ating left side. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x minus 1 equals negative 1 half y. So, ang ginawa ko is linipat natin yung 1 sa ating left side. So, magiging negative 1. And then, ano pa yung next na pwede natin gawin? So, we can multiply both side by positive 2 para makancel yung ating 2 sa ating negative 1 half. So, ang gagawin po natin, so marami tayong way kung paano natin isolve yung y or paano natin ititira yung y sa ating left side. So, pwedeng by multiplication or pwedeng cross multiplication. So, we have... 2 times x is equivalent to positive 2x. And then 2 times negative 2 is we have negative 2. Then equals. And then next is 2 times negative 1 half is equivalent to negative 1. And then times y. So we have 2x minus 2 equals negative 1, y. So next step, pwede tayong mag-divide both side by negative 1 para magkaroon tayo ng positive y sa ating right side. So mag-divide tayo ng negative 1 and then mag-divide tayo ng negative 1. So magkakaroon tayo ng final answer na 2x divided by negative 1 is equivalent to negative 2x and then negative 2 divided by negative 1 is positive 2 and then equals so, negative 1 divided by negative 1 is positive 1 multiplied by y. So, we have y. So, our last step is we are going to replace yung ating y ng f inverse of x. So, ang gagawin pa natin is magkakaroon tayo ng f inverse of x equals negative 2x plus 
2. So, ibig sabihin, ang inverse ng ating function of x equals negative 1 of x plus 1 is f inverse of x equals negative 2x plus 2. So, our next example is f of x equals x minus 4 all over 2. So, ang first na step natin parate is we're going to substitute ng ating f of x ng y. So, we have y. Then, just copy our function x minus 4 all over 2. So, we have x minus 4 all over 2. And then, our next step is we are going to interchange sa ating y ng ating x. So, we are going to interchange x and y. So, ang y natin is magiging x and yung x natin is magiging y. So, napakadali. So, magiging x equals yung ating x is magiging y and then just copy our numerical coefficient na negative 4 and then all over 2. Then, ang ating next na step is we're going to solve for y. So, ano nga ba yung way natin or mga different style or solution para maiwan yung ating y sa ating right side. So, pwede tayong magmultiply both side by positive 2. So, magmamultiply tayo both side ng positive 2 para makancel yung ating denominator na 2 sa ating y minus 4. So, 2 times x is equivalent to positive 2x then equals and then makakancel po yung ating 2. So, ang matitira is y minus 4. So, next step, ano yung kailangan natin gawin para y lang yung ating maiwan sa ating right side? So, pwede tayong mag-add both side ng positive 4 o pwede natin i-transpose yung or i-transfer yung negative 4 sa ating right side. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 2x plus 4. So, yung negative 4 magiging positive 4 once na linipat natin sa left side. So, equals yung ating y. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating y is equivalent to 2x plus 4. So, for our last step, we're going to substitute y into f inverse of x. So, ang ating final answer is f inverse of x is equivalent to 2x plus 4. So, ibig sabihin, ang inverse ng ating function of x equals x minus 4 all over 2 is f inverse of x equals 2x plus 4. So, ayun guys, yun po yung ating second example. The third question, f of x equals square root of x minus 2. So, try natin sa my square root sign. So, ngayon is medyo kakaiba. So, paano kapag nagkaroon tayo ng square root sign? So, ang gagawin po natin is parang dati na kailangan muna nating isubstitute yung ating f of x ng y. So, ang f of x po natin is magiging y and then just copy square root of x minus 2. So, ganun pa rin yung gagawin po natin. So, kahit na may square root, ganun pa rin yung process natin na first is to substitute natin yung ating f of x ng y. And then, our second step is we're going to interchange x and y. So, dating gawin, yung ating y is magiging x and then yung ating x is magiging y. So, ang y po natin is magiging x and then equals square root of y minus 2. So, ano yung kailangan natin gawin para maalis yung ating square root sa ating y minus 2? So, tama. Ang gagawin po natin is kukunin natin yung square ng both side and then we're going to solve for y. So, ang gagawin po natin is kukunin natin yung square ng ating x and then yung square ng ating square root of y minus 2. So, ang x squared, of course, x squared. And then, equals. And then, next, ang square ng square root is maalis lang. So, we have y minus 2. So, anong kailangan natin gawin para ang maiwan lang sa ating right side is y. So, of course, ililipat natin yung negative 2 sa ating left side. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x squared plus 2 equals y. So, for our last step, we're going to substitute 
yung ating y sa f inverse of x. Final answer is f inverse of x equals x squared plus 2. So, ibig sabihin, ang inverse ng function of x equals square root of x minus 2 is f inverse of x equals x squared plus 2. So, yan po yung ating third example. And for our last example, what about f of x equals x squared minus 4? So, dating gawin, gagawin po natin, yung f of x po natin is magiging y. And then equals, so just copy x squared minus 4. So, for our next step, we are going to interchange y into x. So, ang y po natin is magiging x and then equals, yung x po natin is magiging y. So, we have y squared minus 4. Ang ating next na gagawin is of course, we are going to solve for y. So, magkakaroon po tayo ng x and then yung negative 4 is magiging positive 4 and then equals y squared. So, ano yung kailangan natin gawin para matanggal yung ating square sa ating y? So, of course, ngayon naman is kukunin natin yung square root ng both sides. Kung kanina is kinuha natin yung square ng bawat side, dito naman is kukunin natin yung square root ng ating both side since meron tayong y squared. So, ang gagawin po natin is kukunin natin yung square root ng ating x plus 4 and then yung square root ng y squared. So, so, ang ating answer is x plus 4 equals y. So, ang ating final answer is f inverse of x equals square root of x plus 4. So, ibig sabihin, ang inverse ng function of x equals x squared minus 4 is f inverse of x equals square root of x plus 4. So, yan po yung ating mga nagkuwang sagot. So, konting recap lang. Ang inverse ng function of x equals negative 1 of x plus 1 is f inverse of x equals negative 2x plus 2. And then, for our second example, ang inverse ng function of x equals x minus 4 all over 2 is f inverse of x equals 2x plus 4. And then, for our third example, ang inverse ng function of x equals square root of x minus 2 is f inverse of x equals x squared plus 2. And then for our last example, ang inverse ng function of x equals x squared minus 4 is f inverse of x equals the square root of x plus 4. So, yan po yung three steps to find inverse. So, first, replace function of x with y. And second, interchange x and y. And then, third step is solve for y and replace it with f inverse of x. So, ayun guys. I hope na naintindihan nyo kung paano kumuha ng inverse ng bawat function. So, ayun guys. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.